Hi, I'm Phil Thompson from JSL Solutions. Hope that you are well. So I get a question from time to time regarding HD versus SD video, high definition versus standard definition video. So true HD or high definition video, uh, the camera captures video at a resolution of 1920 by 1080p. So this is kind of the gold standard when it comes to resolutions now. So if you can get a camera like that, uh, you might as well buy it. You can use it for a lot of other sources, but here's the bottom line. It, it really is too large of a, of a resolution to stream. I mean, it, ta it would take a very, very fast internet connection, requires everybody else to have uh, a fast internet connection as well to view it, and all, all HD cameras are pushing what they call HDMI out, HDMI cable out, and it, you, it has to have that to move these massive amounts of, of data, and your average computer does not have HDMI going into it. And so uh, you can do this, but it takes you know quite a bit of money. It makes things a little more complicated, and, and we have people that do it. But uh, let me just simplify things here a little bit and, and encourage you to consider standard definition video because it really lowers the technical bar on all fronts. And it's much more reasonable to stream an SD uh, video uh, because the files are smaller and you can still get that HD look. Uh, many of these cameras today give you the option of going 640 by 360, which is a 16 by 9 ratio, so you can kind of mimic the, the shape of a of the theater screens and there's other resolutions too like 360 by 270 or 320 by 180 and these lower resolutions uh, really look pretty good on smaller devices and, and remember unless you're streaming to these huge big flat screens uh, most of the people are going to be watching on smaller computer screens on mobile devices those kind of things and it can look really 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 decent really good especially if your lighting is good and your camera's got good placement and here's one more piece of advice I'd encourage you, if you can get a camera that has FireWire, that's a great way to go. It makes life so much easier. You can plug FireWire into a FireWire input in your computer, and it really processes all that stuff really well. Now, of course, cameras that have FireWire, they're a dying breed. However, you can find cameras that have composite or uh, S-Video out, and then you can get a device we call the Grass Valley ADVC55, which is a video capture device. It, you plug in using again S-Video or composite in and then it goes out via FireWire into your computer. Well what if you don't have FireWire on your computer? You can get a FireWire card for like 25 bucks, drop it in there and you're good to go. So my advice, this comes from our server guys and everything else. It's a great way to go. It's much more reasonable and it's much less complicated. So if you have questions about this or anything else for that matter, send us an email, support at streamingchurch.tv. I'm Phil Thompson on behalf of Steve Lacey and the whole gang here. Have yourself a great day.